Hey guys, Oogie Boogie here. Welcome to my fire guides with a crowded shot. This build is completely built around a crowded shot and is mostly for group plays. I completed a Greater Rift 47 solo with this build, but it's a lot harder than running with a cold or physical build. In this video, you can see the playstyle from this build. I am running with Smokescreen, Sentries, Mark for Death with Mortal Enemy, Companion, Elemental Arrow with Immolation Rune. Cluster arrow with loaded for bear. This build is all about building hatred quickly and spamming cluster arrow. You regen a lot of hatred because of the crater shot with mark for death and mortal enemy. The immolation arrows you shoot at the target gives you 4 hatred plus the hatred you get from the pool on the ground. When immolation arrow hits the target it leaves a patch on the ground for 2 seconds. Every time that patch does damage it gives you 4 hatred back, because the damage is counted as a hit. Now you know how the build looks like, so take a look at the skills and gear. Since we are using a crowded shot, our generator will be element arrow with immolation arrow. Immolation arrow shoots a fiery arrow that hits an enemy for 300% weapon damage as fire and explodes. Immolating the ground for 315% weapon damage as fire over 2 seconds to enemies within 10 yards. As our spender we are using cluster arrow with loaded for bear. This rune does the most damage of our runes but is only for a small area. So it only works when the mobs are grouped up. I've tried the other runes but concluded loaded for bear was the best for groups. When you go solo with this pack you can switch to physical or cold rune. As defensive, we got Smokescreen with Lingering Fog. We got a Sentry with Spitfire Turret. We don't need Polar Station here as the Witch Doctor you are group grouped up with. We'll use Haunt, which has a build in slow. I don't suggest using Polar Station with this build, since I found out that it will lag the game a lot. We're using Mark for Death with Mortal Enemy. Every attack you do on a marked target will give you 4 Hatred. As I explained before, the immolation arrow will give you 4 hatred when it hits, plus the hits from the patch on the ground. We're also using our companions, doesn't matter what rune you use here. As for our passives, we're using awareness, single out, custom engineering and steady aim. If you have a hellfire amulet, we're also using call of the weak. I've tested single out versus archery and came to the conclusion that single out will benefit you more in higher greater risk. Now we're moving on to the gear. We are using three legendary gems, Sidestone of Vengeance, Pain of the Trap and Goguk of Swiftness. You can also use the Taiku gem, but I wouldn't suggest using it in solo or two players since it's very hard to keep it up. The attack speed from Goku gem helps out a lot on the HR generation. Our weapon is the Crider Shot. You want to have high damage, plus elite damage, resource cost reduction, or attack speed. All choices work with this build. We want Marauder Boots with Dex, Fit, Movement Speed if you're in a group, and All Rest if you're solo, and Cluster Arrow Damage. We also want Marauder Pants with Dex, Fit, and All Rest. Marauder Gloves with Dex, Crit, Crit Hit Damage, and Attack Speed or Resource Cost Reduction. I prefer to use the tech speed so I can generate faster hatred. We run shoulders with dex, area damage, resource cost reduction and sentry damage. If you go solo, you want to have dex, bit, resource cost reduction and sentry damage. For the last marauder piece, you want a helmet with dex, crit, cluster arrow damage and a cooldown reduction gem in your socket. If you go solo, you want to have marauder's chest piece and a pride fall. We want a Witching Hour for our belt with Dex, high attack speed and crit hit damage. You want a Syndicate as a chest with high fire damage, Dex, sentry damage and high resource cost reduction. Our best in slot necklace is a Hellfire Amulet with elemental damage or Dex, crit chance, crit hit damage and a socket. In our wrist we want Reaper Wraps with high elemental damage, Dex, Vit, Crit, and high restore of resources. We run the Stone of Jordan with a Ring of Oregrinder with crit hit damage or crit, just what you need the most. 
For solo, you switch out the Stone of Jordan for a Unity. As for the offense, we want a Bombardier Rucksack with Dex, Crits, High Attack Speed, Hatred Regeneration or Resource Cost Reduction, and Cluster Arrow Damage. You may have seen the build in the beginning of the video, but I will show you anyway. You want to have put your sentries up, mark a target, always mark the target that is closest to you, so you can always hit it. These mobs have a very low HP, but always try to mark the target that is closest to you. If you mark a target behind the mob that you're hitting, you won't generate any hatred because you're not hitting the target. Like if you do it like that, you won't generate any hatred because you won't hit the target. You always want to hit the target that is the most closest to you. If you got a big group and there's only one mob in front of you, mark that target like this, shoot there and shoot your cluster arrow behind that mob. So you generate your hatred, but you're not focusing that single single mob. So you're not wasting any DPS. I hope you learned a lot from this guy. I'll see you in the future.